Thought I'd do a little, take a look at my print and play HeroQuest game. I made. There we have the box covers and then the uh, screen. Now the screen I went and I made um, in a different scale. I made it just a little bit smaller. I wasn't sure that I was really going to even make one, but um, decided to go ahead and go for it. So, uh, so there's that. That works really well. <clears throat> and then uh, I have additional equipment cards. This is an expanded fan created uh, equipment sheet and uh, with the rules um, on it and stuff too. So always like having more. More is better. And along with that, I put together an armory and um, where I have the rules for the expanded equipment in it there and then also um, there's 15 different armory sheets in that book and then um, with uh, uh, Odinon and his um, complete collection of all of the adventures are right in here and um, also the rules um, for the game um, right in there so um, there is that right there um, just created the board so here we have the um, board and um, this is the board I did this in a trifold method just like so um, so there is that <clears throat> that board I had printed on glossy paper and then um, it's a 125 megabyte file so giant file very vibrant I'm just loving that board um, and then here we have uh, the full print and play collection so uh, print and play furniture pieces and um, sometimes the goblins like to play hero quest too <laughs> and uh, so this is all printed on cardstock and um, and just created that way like that and um, all of the cards. Um, there's so many cards available and potion cards and all kinds of cards. So I just went with pretty much the basic. It's slightly expanded um, there. Added the evil power cards component to it there as well for the overlord. Um, all of the miniatures um, were created by Velnar Venzian. And um, these are paper standees. I just love the fact that they are um, nice and colorful and they definitely work um, in the environment there too. So loving that. And the size difference for these guys is really cool. So you have your barbarian and uh, with goblins um, right there like that. So it doesn't look like a even, a even match, but <laughs> that is how it is. So. There's all of that. So that is the entire collection. And um, I have an expanded Heroes collection too. And I did the Warhammer Quest um, Heroes in here. And um, because it's actually a, a GW thing, I believe. Um, another fan-made situation here with the Talisman Heroes. So it has all of the normal heroes plus all of the... Um, expanded heroes um, from Talisman, so um, converted there. So quite a few options in terms of the heroes that you can play. And then I thought I like the idea of a themed holder. So here you have uh, damage tokens along with the monster cards in here, and then the treasure. Um, so I added a few treasure cards in here. Um, I thought it'd be cool to put in some armor and some different things there. Um, but, and then also when you find treasure, when you find gold, I thought it'd be really cool to actually have a pile of gold next to your, uh, next to your hero. 200 gold coins right there. So, um, that's going to be fun right there. And then just the rest of the tokens, equipment cards here and I've opted for these doors. I really like these. I wanted a simple method to show the doors and then so here we have um, there's a door with moss on it. Here's another door that has 
that's just a wooden door like that. And so my intention is that, you know, once you open a door, all you have to do is flip it over and uh, like that. And that shows that it's uh, an open door. So um, I'm fairly excited about that. So there's that there. And then um, equipment um, search tokens that you can put in each room and the various pits and rubble. Um, the dice here, these are dice that I made also. These are card dice and um, I do have some other dice inbound. Um, a pal is putting together for me so that is awesome. And then lastly, one more board. This board I could not resist putting together. It's a little bit smaller than the other one, but uh, it's got more of a war hammer quest theme to it. So I'm um, very excited about that. So that is the collection and uh, it's a lot of work and man, I uh, can't wait to really get into this. It's going to be great.